الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد اي الاحباب اوصيكم ونفسي بتقوى الله عز وجل I would like to remind myself and my brothers and sisters to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and remember Him often. And the benefits of remembering Allah are so numerous and have been mentioned in so many ayats in the Quran and ahadith in the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and in the aqwal or the statements of the salaf of this ummah rahimahullah jami'an I wanted to mention one hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam that was in Sahih Muslim Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu narrated Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was traveling along the path leading to Mecca that he happened to pass by a mountain called Jumdan he said, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, proceed on, it is Jumdan. The, mufir, the Mufarridun have gone ahead. The companions, radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een said, O Allah's Messenger, who are the Mufarridun? He, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, said, they are those males and females who remember Allah much. Ruahu Muslim. Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu said while he was in the house of Umm Darda the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam reported from his Lord that he said I am with my slave when he remembers me and his lips move in my remembrance Abu Dar Darda radiallahu ta'ala anhu said those who always remember Allah shall enter paradise smiling so Ayyul Ahbab, just from those few ahadith, we see the importance of remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, repenting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, coming back to Him, and making sure that we are conscious of Allah Azza wa Jal in our lives. And that Ayyul Ahbab will bring us success in this life as well as the hereafter. Because no doubt, the person who remembers Allah much feels the light of Iman and exhibits the light of Iman and the energy of Iman. But the one bogged down by sinfulness and forgetfulness of Allah risk being forgotten by Allah and risks the darkness and oppression of sinfulness and being forgotten by their Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of those who remember him often.